Our friend Robert Reich is back, and he says that Elon Musk's vision for the internet is dangerous nonsense, published in The Guardian. Are you ready? Let's go! Robert Reich, that this, it's, it's hard to believe that we can get this level of stupidity from a professor of economics who was the Secretary of Labor, who served on the Obama transition team, a high-profile guy. It's hard to believe that someone could manage this level of stupidity. Musk has long advocated a libertarian vision of an uncontrolled internet. That's also the dream of every dictator, strongman, and demagogue. Dictators want free speech. Dictators want uncontrolled internet as opposed to controlled internet. That's just the beginning of this exercise in utter stupidity from Robert Turd Reich. Reich, Turd Reich writes, the Russian people know little about Putin's war on Ukraine because Putin has blocked their access to the truth, substituting propaganda and lies. You see, with an open internet, an uncontrolled internet, the government would not be able to control what people say. If Putin had an uncontrolled internet, he wouldn't be able to block people's access to the truth. This is what a dictator or a tyrant does, and it is the opposite of what Elon Musk says he wants to do with Twitter. Years ago, pundits assumed that the internet would open a new era of democracy, giving everyone access to the truth. But dictators like Putin and demagogues like Trump have demonstrated how naive that assumption was. Did Trump block people from accessing Twitter or the truth? What, what are you talking about? At least the U.S. responded to Trump's lies. Trump had 88 million Twitter followers before Twitter took him off its platform. That's controlled speech, not uncontrolled speech. These moves were necessary to protect American democracy. From what? Protect American democracy. Democracy is the people vote. The people get full information. They decide what to believe. And they vote. Robert Reich doesn't want you to have full information. He wants the government or his woke left mob to control what information you get to control how you vote. Elon Musk wants you to get whatever information you choose to read and make your own decision about how to vote. That's a democracy. What Reich wants is control and power in the hands of the few who have that power. Elon Musk has some power, for sure, but he doesn't have nearly the power of government. He doesn't have nearly, he doesn't have nearly the power of the woke left mob in terms of controlling what speech is said and what speech isn't said, and what you can hear and what you can't hear. Musk tweeted that U.S. tech companies shouldn't be acting as the de facto arbiter of free speech. Robert Reich thinks that the U.S. tech companies should... Robert Reich is a guy who's always bashing big companies, and yet he disagrees that big companies... He, does he think big companies should be the arbiter of free speech? Is that what Reich thinks? Heard Reich, oh, continues to tell his 80 million followers all sorts of things. I disagree with many of his positions, but ever since I posted a tweet two years ago criticizing him for how he treated his Tesla workers, he has blocked me, so I can't view or post criticisms of his tweets to his followers. You can just go in not logged in. You can go to Twitter in a, not, in a browser that's not logged in, and you can go to twitter.com slash Elon Musk, and you can see his tweets. You can create a second account, and you can see what he tweets. If you are that 10, I've seen Robert Reich has a staff making videos for him. If he doesn't have anyone who tells him that he can see Elon's tweets without being logged in, or using a different browser, or using a different account, do we really want this guy's opinion to matter in deciding what tech companies can do when he doesn't know Really, really simple things about Twitter? Okay, he can't view or post criticism. Somehow he knows what Musk said. Musk tweeted. You just said Musk tweeted this. 
And now you say you can't view or post criticism. You are posting, you viewed his tweet and you are posting criticisms of his tweets on The Guardian. And you can post them on Twitter. You posted this article on Twitter. So you are, po and I'm one of his followers and I read your article. So I'm aware of your criticisms. So you're a liar or you're an idiot. Maybe you're a stupid liar. I don't know, but it's one or both or pick one. Seems like an odd move for someone who describes himself as a free speech absolutist. Musk advocates free speech, but in reality, it's just about power. You can block someone. It doesn't stop you. From, if I block you, it doesn't stop you from speaking. If I don't want to hear what you say, I don't have to listen to you. And if I don't want to speak to you, I don't have to speak to you. That is free speech. The choice for me to say I'm not going to speak to Robert Reich is a choice I can make. Plenty of Robert Reich's buddies block people. I'm sure Robert Reich has blocked people. Elon is free to block whoever he wants. Now, Michael Burry complained that his verified checkmark was taken away. Michael Burry complained on Twitter that his checkmark was taken away. He is a Tesla short. He is someone who has sold short Tesla stock. He's anti-Tesla. And Elon said that will be restored. He's going to restore Burry's checkmark, even though you shorted the stock, you bastard. Elon believes in free speech even for people who oppose him. Robert Reich does not believe that you should have free speech if you oppose what he believes. If you disagree with him, he doesn't want you to have the power to say what you want to say. He wants Twitter to stop you from speaking. This man is evil, he's an idiot, and he's a liar. Robert Turd Reich is an evil, lying idiot. Or he can pick. Maybe he's just an evil liar, and he knows he's lying, and they're intelligent lies, or so he thinks. I don't know. Reading this guy is like reading something straight out of Orwell. Power. Power compelled Musk to buy $2.64 billion of Twitter stock, making him the largest individual shareholder. Le power to free the internet? Yeah, sure. Okay. Last week, Twitter announced that Musk would be joining Twitter's board of directors, prompting Musk to promise significant improvements in the platform. Again, it appears that Herd Reich is able to read Elon's tweets. Strange. Strange how he's able to read the tweets on an account that's blocked. Maybe he does have access to Elon's tweets somehow. Very odd. Sunday evening, it was announced that Musk would not be joining Twitter's board. No reason was given, but it's probably part of a bargaining kabuki dance. What does kabuki have to do with this? Why bring up some esoteric Japanese concept that you probably don't really understand, you ignorant twat? Watashi wa nihongo ga dekimasu. I speak Japanese. I've lived in Japan. I probably know a little bit more about this than you. This is a Westerner's, this is really, if you think about it, this is cultural appropriation. In the, in the language of the woke left, in the language of the woke left, Robert Turd Reich is appropriating a Japanese concept and using it inappropriately in Western culture. Personally, I find it amusing. I don't find it offensive. And I know Japanese people don't find it offensive. But Turd Reich's friends in the woke left should be concerned about his abuse of this poor, afflicted culture. No reason was given. Elon didn't say anything. Musk wouldn't have plopped down $2.64 billion for nothing. Apparently, Robert Turdreich knows how Elon thinks. If he's not on Twitter's board, he's not bound by a standstill agreement in which he pledged to buy no more than 14.9% of Twitter's stock. Musk now faces no limit on how much of Twitter's stock he can buy. He'll buy as much as he needs to gain total control. Oh my God. Dear Lord. What improvements does Musk have in mind for Twitter? Uh, he's been pretty clear about it. He wants free speech. He also wants other things to make it a better user experience. He wants to get to change the platform to make it more attractive to people with large numbers of followers. The top accounts he talked about. I don't know which tweets Turd Reich gets access to do, but apparently he doesn't get access to all of the tweets because Elon talked about the fact, for example, people with the top follower accounts on Twitter are not tweeting very often. They are choosing to use other platforms. So perhaps if Elon's reforms can get the top Twitter accounts to use the platform more, that will increase engagement with the platform and maybe the stock will be worth more. Maybe there's a lot of advantages to Elon getting control of Twitter. Maybe the problem is that the woke left mob controlling Twitter 
doesn't seem to care about the shareholders, which is something that they're supposed to care about, which a professor of economics would probably know if he cared about economics or people or democracy. Will he use his clout over Twitter to prevent users with tens of millions of followers from blocking people who criticize them? I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it too. That's not what he's trying to do. You could actually read his tweets. You could log out or use a different browser, a logged out browser, and read his tweets, and you could have tried to figure out what he's trying to do. A lot of us are talking about it. A lot of us like his ideas. You wouldn't know because you don't care. You just want to bash him because you don't like him because he's successful and you're not. He's actually making the world a better place and you're just talking. Will Musk use his clout to let Trump back on? I fear he will. So what? If you don't want to read what Trump says, don't read what Trump says. If you don't like other people reading what Trump says, then you're a tyrant. If you want to stop other... I, I don't like Trump. I have never liked Trump. The only time I liked him, the one brief moment, was when he had a bit part in Home Alone 2 and I thought he was funny. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. Thanks. Other than that, I have never liked Trump. I'm an upstate New Yorker. Upstate New Yorkers generally hate loudmouth New York City people, and Trump is the ultimate and loudmouth New York City people. Never liked him. Also, he's a friend of Roger Stone, who's a scumbag, and I hate Roger Stone, and anybody who chooses to work with Roger Stone is choosing to work with scum because everyone knows he's scum. So I am no Trump fan, but Trump should have the right to speak. I choose not to read what Trump says, have never been interested in his tweets. I find him an idiot, annoying, and a braggart. It's no interest in Trump whatsoever. But my friends want to read what Trump says. They're free to read what Trump says. They should be free to read what Trump says. He should be free to say what he wants to say. And people who want to hear what he say or read what he says should be able to read what he says. That's freedom. That's a democracy. Musk has long advocated a libertarian vision of an uncontrolled internet. That vision is dangerous rubbish. There is no such animal and there never will be. I don't recall Elon saying he wanted an uncontrolled internet. He wants free speech. He wants people to be able to say what they want to say with obvious limits for things like uh, inappropriate pictures of children, for example, right? I suspect that Elon would understand some limits on speech on Twitter. I don't know what it is. Does he's a free speech absolutist? Maybe he means free for all, but he'd probably, have, he'd probably agree to some limits. But the idea that a popular politician who has a huge following, is deprived of his ability to communicate to his followers, and his followers are deprived of their ability to read or hear what he has to say, that is not freedom. That is not a democracy. That is tyranny, in this case, by the woke left. Someone has to decide on the algorithms in every platform, how they're designed, how they evolve, what they reveal, and how, what they hide. Musk has already has enough power to give himself this sort of control over Twitter. Musk, along with Jack Dorsey, have talked about making it so that people will be able to see the algorithm rather than the algorithm being hidden. The woke left mob that runs Twitter now that Robert Reich seems to like, they don't want people to know how they're deciding what you get to see and what you don't get to see. They don't want you to know how the algorithm works. Elon wants you to know how the algorithm works. He might even want you to be able to choose which algorithm. He has some interesting ideas. Robert Reich has never expressed any interest in understanding what Elon's plans might be for Twitter. He just assumes they're bad plans. They have to be bad. Just like, I guess it's a bad idea for him to make electric cars and solar panels and batteries to, re to stabilize the grid and save, NASA and, and save NASA and the government money, the Defense Department money and launching satellites to space. All terrible ideas. What the heck is Reich talking about? Musk talks about freedom of speech, but his real power is freedom of reach reaching 80 million Twitter followers without accountability to anyone, including critics like me. He has accountability to everyone. Anyone who wants to can criticize him. And enough money to buy himself a seat on Twitter's board. No, he has enough money to buy Twitter. Outright. He could buy the whole thing if he wanted to. There's this notion that underlies a lot of what Reich says, that rich people like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have too much power. When the reality is why Elon has... Look, Elon has more power than me, and he has more power than Turd Reich. But no one has more power than the U.S. federal government. You say Elon spends $10 billion on something, the federal government spends $10 billion in a few hours. The federal government spends far more money than Elon could dream of. Well, he could probably dream bigger. The federal government spends, I don't know, 10 or $20 trillion a year. Elon has $200 billion, $300 billion. He's nowhere close. Yeah, he's got more than you and me. And he's using that money 
to buy to build rockets to get us to the moon and Mars and lower the cost of access to space and save the government money. He's using them to build electric vehicles so that I get to ride in a car that's quiet and efficient and saves me money and saves the environment, keeps the air clean, safe. Elon's doing lots of great things with his money and his power. Robert Reich is talking and writing and annoying. Heard Reich. Now, of course, we have the laundry list of assorted accusations of things that Elon did that Robert Reich doesn't like. In other words, Elon said things that Robert Reich doesn't like, and apparently Robert Reich would like it if Elon wasn't allowed to say the things that he wants to say. A tyrant wants to control others. Elon is trying to allow others to say what they want to say. I love this one. He has been openly contemptuous of the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. It was funny. And it's fair. He also calls it the short selling. He's talking about S. Elon's. This was a sexual reference. He also calls it the short seller enrichment commission. But strangely, Reich forgets about that point. Billionaires like Musk have shown time and again that they consider themselves above the law. And to a large extent, they are. No, I'll tell you who's above the law. Government is above the law. Government breaks the law. Government breaks into people's homes. Government drops bombs on people. Government does all kinds of things, and it gets away with it because of things like qualified immunity or absolute immunity or the fact that no one really ever holds government accountable. Our economy is up the creek right now, and that's largely due to absolute incompetence, corruption, and more in the U.S. federal government and a lot of our state governments. we got a lot of problems here, and Elon didn't cause any of them. Elon is making the world a better place. Robert Reich is talking and he's enabling the corrupt morons who are destroying our country and destroying the world. Musk has enough wealth, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we've got it. You don't like the fact that he has a lot of money. You have more money than Robert. Turd Reich has more money than I do. Maybe I should be mad that Turd Reich has more money than I do. And he gets to get his articles published in The Guardian and other newspapers. And he has more followers than I do. So more people see what he says. And he's got a crew of people who help him make his videos. He gets paid by the California state government to be a professor, probably teaches, if he teaches any classes at all, God help the poor students who have to be in that class. Oh my God, that must be awful. And enough power to control one of the most important ways the public now receives news. Yeah, because before the woke left mob was controlling how people receive news, Elon wants to free the news so that people can see what whoever says. So you get to choose who you listen to and who you don't want to listen to. You get to choose who you read and who you don't read. Do you want to live in a world where Turd Reich controls what you can read and what you can hear? Do you want to live in a world where Turd Reich controls what you can say and what, how, what you can write and where your writings and speeches can appear? Is that a world you want to live in? I want to live in a world where I can choose where I say what I say and you can choose and we can all choose where we can read, what we can read and where we read it. I don't want to live in a world where Turd Reich and his woke left mob control what is said. That is the world we have been living in with cancel culture and everything else. It's wrong. And they lie to us a lot. They lie to us a lot. Musk says he wants to free the internet, but he really, what he really aims to do is make it even less accountable than it is now. What accountability is he looking for? If you say some, someone says something that's racist, they're held accountable. Cam Newton, the quarterback, former quarterback of the New England Patriots and the Carolina Panthers, I think, said something about women that I pretty often read or I pretty often see in YouTube videos. He said something about women that I don't particularly like. And now he's getting canceled. People are saying Cam Newton shouldn't be able to play in the NFL because he thinks women should, I don't know, support their men. That they shouldn't be bad bees. I don't know. I don't agree with Cam, what Cam Newton said. I didn't put a lot of thought into it. I don't really care that much what quarterbacks think about male-female relationships. I care what I think about male-female relationships. I care what my family thinks about it. But this is, the, this is a key point. What he aims to do is make it even less accountable less accountable it is now when it's often impossible to discover who is making the decisions about how algorithms when it is impo often impossible to discover who is making the decisions about how algorithms are designed, who is filling social media with lies, who's poisoning our minds with pseudoscience and propaganda, and who's deciding which versions of events go viral and which stay under wraps. Okay, Elon and Jack specifically talked about making the algorithms more public. Right now the algorithm is completely private. We don't know how Twitter decides what you are going to see and read. We don't know what's going to appear. 
We don't know what Twitter's algorithm does to affect what goes viral. We don't know that now. So it is currently impossible, and Elon is trying to make that better. Heard Reich either doesn't understand it or knows he's lying. The woke left mob wants to control who is filling social media with lies. Them. They want to poison our minds with pseudoscience and propaganda. They want to decide which versions of events go viral and which stay under wraps. We have had a litany of events. What was the one in Washington, D.C. where the kids supposedly had some confrontation with a Native American protester and they made it look like the kid provoked, the, you know, got in the face of the Native American protester when in fact the protester got in the kid's face? It was clear on its face that the Native American protester created the incident and the woke left mob and corporate media made this poor teenager look like the bad guy. He's now no longer a poor teenager because he sued a lot of major media outlets and he got a lot of money. But this was ridiculous. This was ridiculous. This is, this is the control that Turd Reich wants. He wants media to be able to continue to lie about such events. And he doesn't want those lies challenged by the truth. Turd Reich says, make no mistake, this is not about freedom. It's about power. Yes. You are making it about power. Elon is making it about freedom. You oppose freedom. You want power for your woke left mob to control what we can hear, what we can see, what we can write, what we can say, and where we can do all that. In Musk's, version of Twi in Musk's vision of Twitter and the internet, he'd be the wizard behind the curtain, projecting on the world screen a fake image of a brave new world empowering everyone. In reality, that world would be dominated by the richest and most powerful people in the world who wouldn't be accountable to anyone for facts, truth, science, or the common good. Currently, we live in a world where the most powerful people in the world are government officials. They are not accountable to anyone for facts, truth, science, or the common good. Because the woke left mob is controlling the media, and if someone challenges the government on their story, they are canceled. They are prevented from saying what they want to say in the, the de facto town hall that Twitter has become. That's Musk's dream and Trump's and Putin's. Apparently, Musk is an ally of Putin, even though Musk has been sending Starlink satellite terminals into Ukraine so that the Ukrainians can still have access to the internet after Putin cut it off. This guy finds, Reich finds monsters under his bed. Like, I don't know how the guy sleeps because he must see all these monsters under his bed. And somehow Musk and Putin and Trump are all allies when Musk is very clearly going against Putin. He's very clearly going against Putin. H how are you equating him to Putin? The dream of every dictator, strongman, de demagogue, and modern day robber baron on earth. For the rest of us, it will be a brave new nightmare. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. He thinks, again, this is right out of that headline of the article, at the beginning of the article, that dictators want free speech. I mean, just think about how stupid this is. This is as dumb as it gets. It's as evil. Now, here's the thing. I don't think that Turd Reich is stupid. I think that Turd Reich is a very smart guy, and he knows exactly what he's saying, and he knows he's lying to us, and he knows that he has enough moron followers that will listen to this absolute tripe and believe it. Because this is straight out of Orwell. This is, this is Orwellian. Freedom is, is, freedom is tyranny. It's, like, it's bizarre. It's so bizarre. So this, ladies and gentlemen, this right here, this right here, this is Robert Turd Reich, or Turd Reich. This is Robert Reich. This is the face of evil. I get to say that. This man is the face of evil. He wants to control what you say. He wants to control what you write. He wants to control what you hear. He wants to control what you read. This man is evil. If you are following Turd Reich on Twitter, R-B-R-E-I-C-H on Twitter, if you are following this guy, why? Why would you give this guy a bigger platform? Why would you follow The Guardian? promoting this utter absurdity. I mean, was there any editor who looked at this and said, uh, Professor Reich, this really doesn't make a lot of sense. Dictators don't really want an uncontrolled internet, Mr. Reich. Uh, we really don't feel comfortable publishing this in our newspaper or website or whatever because this makes us look like morons. It makes like look like we will publish anything that's stupid. 
What are these guys doing? This is utter stupidity. It's evil. It's corrupt. It's disgraceful. This is what the woke left mob is trying to do to control us. And if you are not an NPC, if you can understand simple reasoning, you understand this is nonsense. In this story, Elon Musk is the good guy and Turd Reich is the bad guy. Robert Turd Reich is the bad guy. Stop following him. Tell your friends this man is evil. If you see this man in public, tell your friends, point at that guy and say, that guy is evil. If you see him on TV, tell everyone around you, that guy is evil. You are free to listen to him if you want to, and I'm telling you, I've seen this guy. He is evil, he is a liar, or he's a moron. He does not deserve your attention. He can say whatever he wants. We all agree, other than the woke left mob, the rest of us agree that Robert Reich should be free to say whatever stupid, lying stuff he wants to say, and the rest of us should be free to reject his idiotic comments. I personally want to say thank you to Elon Musk for making an effort to keep Twitter free or make Twitter freer, to promote free speech, to give us the chance to say what we want to say. And I want to ask the editors at The Guardian, why did you publish this pile of garbage? What were you thinking? The disgrace? You should have posted a public apology for publishing this Orwellian crap. If you like this video, please consider joining my locals platform, free speech platform, freer than YouTube, and see. And I talk more about politics on that platform. I generally do not talk about politics on this platform, but when someone attacks Elon Musk, I'm going to defend him here. Thank you so much for watching.